Version 9 on AP1. Let's go see what it does. So let's see what's included for the AP1 in the 9.0 update. So let's go to the Tesla T. Let's go down to release notes. And let's see what we have here. Version 9.0, version 9.0 introduces updates to the touchscreen and Tesla mobile app. Uh, combined auto steer and auto lane change. It has a mobile app update and says here, you can now do even more with your car from your mobile app. Start navigation from your car by using the share button Hmm, in your favorite phone apps. That's very interesting. Uh, you can also allow passengers. Well, I don't have anyone else that uses the app. So, uh, whenever there's a software update, oh, this is a gooder, uh, available to your car, you can conventionally start the update from your phone, which is awesome because um, as it stands now, you have you get the update notification on your phone and then you have to run out to your car and hit start. So that'll be good. Application launch. So looks like that they've changed the configuration of the UI and UI stands for user interface. I didn't know that because I'm an old guy. All you young kids probably knew what UI was. I didn't and I had to uh, Google it. Uh, what else has it got? Climate control. Okay, that's interesting. So the climate control look has changed and it looks like all of these changes to the Model S and to the Model X on the UI is to make it look more like the Model 3. So when I was helping out with orientations last weekend at the end of the third quarter, um, I did you know a, a dozen Model 3 orientations and this is exactly the look of the Model 3 um, UI user interface. Uh, cold weather, your controls have changed. Okay, heat and steer well. So for navigation, so this is an AP1 car, so there's not going to be too much uh, change to what we see now when it comes to navigation. But navigation on your touchscreen now provides more information about upcoming turns, includes highway exits, information exactly, etc., etc. Uh, let's see, we've got use HOV lanes, which is good because here in British Columbia, uh, HOV lanes, uh, if you're an electric vehicle and you have a sticker, you're allowed to uh, use the HOV lanes. For traffic view, the traffic view has been restyled uh, to highlight problematic areas. Okay, so the media, okay, the media has changed. To allow three different views. All right, so yeah, I've, I've already experienced that, so I'll show you in a bit. Um, controls. Okay, so that looks very much like the Model 3, exactly like the Model 3 uh, controls. It says, uh, the control panels have been reorganized to make controls and settings easier to find. We have also added quick controls that give you quick access to the most commonly used controls. All right. Obstacle awareness, which is good because I guess there was some reports that uh, people were uh, accelerating into storefronts. Man, I think that's a user error, not the car error, but it's always good to, to, to have, you know, technology support those stupid people out there. And I think that's, uh, that's great. They need as much help as they can get. And then, of course, Tesla Atari. So there's going to be four games right now, and they are found up in the uh, in the model in the in the T, the Tesla T. So let's. So that's what it looks like right now. So it's a full screen. The big change is down here. So this bar has changed completely. Before everything was found up top here, but no longer. It is now down here. So if I hit the the little car, the Model S, there's the new screen. And they had talked about the quick control. So here's all the controls that you would use most. Right? It's like a favorites or a whatever screen. Uh, I'm not too happy. I don't know. 
I don't say that. Um, this image here, I preferred the old way. So before uh, version 9, if I was to open up the, the trunk, take a look at this. Just a tiny little 3D change. Uh, in the old version, you know that this was all turned orange. And it said, you know, you, you could tell that the trunk was, was open because it's a big block of orange there. But if I close it, see if you can change the difference, see the difference. That's all it is. If a door opens, it looks all pretty. Look at that. But that's, uh, that's about it. Hey, look, it shows my wing mirrors out. What if I bring my wing mirrors in? Okay, not impressed. Look at that flaw. My wir when my mirrors show that they're out, and they're not. Uh, come on, Elon, get your act together. Uh, so up here, suspension is very much what we're used to. Uh, the lights, what we're used to. Driving, creep mode and range mode are down here before they were blocks on the right. Autopilot, uh, for us AP1s, ah, there's not much of a difference. The AP2s and the 2.5s. They're the ones that really, uh, it was a huge change for for those guys. And prior to, AP1 was superior for uh, quite a while over AP2. Then AP2 with the last uh, update came on par. And now with this version 9, uh, the AP2 and AP2.5 has far surpassed uh, the AP1. AP1 is now considered old, old, old technology. But that's okay because I'm an old, 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 old guy. Uh, the vehicle button, there's all your presets, display, which we're, we're sort of used to. This is very much the same. Uh, trips the same. Navigation uh, the only thing I see here is avoid ferries, avoid tolls. I think that was before. But use the HOV lane. So here, like I said, in British Columbia, we can use them. So I'm going to turn that on. I don't know if it's going to say, hey, you can move over now because there's an HOV lane. Uh, safety and security is, is pretty much the same. Pin to drive, cabin overheat. And uh, yeah. Uh, so now let's go down to, let's close that, let's go down to music and see how music now comes up. And this is what we're so used to in the old uh, version, well before version 9, so 8 back, is that we would have half the screen. But the great thing now is that you can scroll and uh, so he said there's three, three different levels. So there's one, there's two. And there's three and so now uh, the image of the uh, navigation is huge and you can swipe down to get rid of it completely so that's kind of cool this is the app button so the third one in this is what he was talking about the applications button so if you hit that this is where your calendar energy web camera call take a look at the old phone there that's awesome and charging whereas these were at the top across here so if I was to do that, calendar comes up, phone is not connected because I don't have it in the car, but this is where your calendar would normally be. Energy, that's what it looks like in the last uh, 25 kilometers. I did a little fast, I did a little slow. That's all right. What else do we have here? We have the web. Now, I don't know if the web browser is any faster. What can I do? Let's go to Google. Let's see how, how quick, enter. Okay, comes up pretty, uh, pretty fast. Don't know what to search for. Um, the next one over is the camera. So the camera automatically shows in sort of the bottom four, well, I say half, but it's not quite the half of the, the vehicle. When you do put it in reverse, it does still come up to the top half, which is uh, good. But when you're driving, the only place that the camera view will show is in the bottom half of the screen. I don't think there's any. Oh, you can just swipe that away. Um, call. Yeah, phone's disconnected because it's not in the car. And what else we got? Charging. 
So this screen is a little different for us. Um, this is now exactly like the Model 3, and you'll see that that uh, seems to be a, uh, a common theme here, that they're trying to get all three um, user face all the same. Uh, so here it shows current. I'm charging right now. I'm getting uh, 46 kilometers an hour, 40 amps, 300, 240 uh, volts-ish. And this, if you have to pay for supercharging, this is where it, it would show at the end of uh, your session at the supercharge, you know, $8.12 or whatever, and it's automatically billed to the visa that Elon has on file. Let's close that. What else have we got? Well, that's good. Now, the, the climate control, so if I was to hit the climate control, and this has changed. There you go. Let's turn it off for now. No, let's turn it on so you can see it. So, before we used to have a different, you know, had two of the temperatures now it's just solo in the second when it comes to you know camper mode that's keep climate on or in the summer that you want to keep the the kids cool in the back or etc etc the animals and all that kind of stuff click climate on is there if you hit auto it automatically sets it to this temperature which you all know this this is not uh this is not something new to you but i mean the the, the the configuration might be new to you, but how to use it. Uh, here, if I tap on 22 and hit sync, it now goes to two. So driver and passenger, I can do driver up and it will keep the passenger cool or down at 22, not cool. So turn it on, turn it off. Let's do this. Don't want sync because I usually drive alone. Turn it off and heated seats are here and here the cold weather package let's see if i can find that i think it's under no it's under climate and it's under this right there so there is so i had the fan which is the setting that first came up but the little waves the heat waves so this is where i can turn on everyone's heat as a gag in the back and watch them sweat and squirm well, all off how's that so yeah that's different from how it was with uh, with the old version so to find that you had to go into that that would normally come up you can turn that off but if of course the first you know the driver and passengers heated seats are here but if you wanted to uh, get the the people in the back you would have to hit this go over to the squirrely lines and there's your their image of your heated seats and everything Meh. now the best part is the a tesla tari uh the games one thing is that uh there, there was a there was a, a video from uh tesla bjorn about people at superchargers that are, are on their their phone and they have their their speakers you know up, up the sound up to six or seven and everyone in the neighborhood can hear it the guy in the car doesn't know that he's been an idiot but you know the sound reverberates and and anyone can hear your phone call so he says you know to be polite keep it around three or four so now if you go to a supercharger and there's someone next to you even two down that's that's being a bit of a um a dickhead by having their volume up loud I think you need to do this. So Tesla T, the Easter egg tray comes up and up here is the Atari. So I'm gonna press that and here it opens. There's Centipede. You can put, put all the money in you want. So I'm not gonna press start yet. Where I want to go to is uh, lunar landing. Now there is no control for volume yet. I haven't found it. So let's at the top, there's asteroids, lunar landing, missile command, and centipede. Let's go to lunar landing. Get out of it. Lunar landing, and let's let's play that game. You can use your toggles here. So this turns your spaceship, and this is air. Listen to the sound. Get ready for this. This is awesome. So I'm just going to change my, my little fellow there. I'm going to give it some gas.
check it out. Listen to this crash. This is awesome. Listen to this crash. Just imagine playing that and crash landing. The people next to you think they're going to wonder what the heck's going on. Let's do that again. So I can use, you can use these toggles here to change your spaceship. This one's gas. Gas. Oh, I hope it don't crash. I hope it don't crash. But listen to the sound. That's awesome. Let's go up to, I think the other loud one is Centipede. Centipede is the, and I, I was never good at this game. So let's press start. That's gonna get irritating, don't you think? Just wait till I suit some shit. <laughs> All right, stop. One thing I did notice on here, well, it's not going to do it, but I think the green is different. You uh, check your car and tell me if the green is different, especially on the indicator. Look at that green. That's a different symbol for um, the indicators. And also, I think the state of charge, the battery on the bottom there, I think that's different too. Yeah, so there you go. Um, one thing I did notice, if I got the air on, let's turn it off. Um, what I did notice as soon as I did this update is that when I brought my phone, my iPhone, into the car, that it automatically started playing for my own music. But behind the scenes so i could come in i'll put on you know the morrissey radio channel uh podcast or whatever and listening to it and then if i opened my phone i would see that behind the scenes my my own music is playing and then when you go to hit this phone right here it would show it, it would you know do the play the music so i don't know if that's a flaw in the system i think it is or it's a flaw with me and maybe there's a way to turn autoplay off i don't know anyway if you know how to do that could you please write in the comments don't forget to like my videos even if you don't like them like them or dislike them yeah dislike them too um don't forget to subscribe to my channel i i do stuff it's not very technical it's not like the other guys um it's just a regular guy that has a tesla that's just a regular guy anyway you take care and i'll talk to you soon